Hey, did you see the news? Grooveblog now has search capability. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Grooveblog search. However, in thinking about it, instead of me showing you, why don't we let David Lemon show you so that you can get all of the details of the settings, how to create it, how to connect it, and you can watch one of the Groove for Growth Academy members set it up on her own blog. But before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the tutorials we're coming out with here at Groove Tutorials. All right, enough of me. Let's take a look at David Lemon showing how to use Groove Blog Search. Let me just show you here for a blog. Let me just, actually, I have this one as test. Um, so when you are in your blog, you can go into themes, customize theme, and then here in the layout, you can activate the actual search show search option nice. here when you activate it it's going to show up here in mm -hmm. the preview but you can also make uh, enable show post image like for example if you search for something it will offer you the different uh, different blog post options as text you can also enable the uh, image show post image so this image will show up in the search results as well so let me cool. just very quickly show you uh so in groove.cm forward slash blog we actually have that already there so <laughs> if you search for something like killer opening for example then it shows up uh so you can you can turn it on to show a, an image or just the text but there is another option where you can select a search type. So if you if you have a look here, search type, it could be an icon or a search bar. So if we if we say icon, then we kind of close this one. Then we have the icon here in the upper right hand corner, which at this moment it shows a bit funky in the preview. But if you go out, it's going to be looking like like this, and it will offer you just a, a drop down search bar like on Groove.ai uh, for slash blog. So let me just show you in a real example. So it will show you like this. So it's going to be a search box activated with a little um, little search icon. It is cool because it also looks good on, on mobile devices. And also for, for this one as well, when you are kind of resizing it, it will not be behind the actual breadcrumbs menu, but it will be visible all the time below the uh, the logo. So this is this is the That's search great. feature in in Group Block. And tell us again, what is it using? What is it searching? What you know? Where is the yeah. data that it's searching? <clears throat> yeah. So when you are creating a post, um, let's just say just this demo post. When you're creating a post, this is your title. So we are looking for the title of the blog post. We're looking for the the post excerpt. So over here, this little field, and we're also looking for the keywords. So keywords, so keyword tags, excerpt, and the actual title. So if you fill this up with relevant keywords, if you fill this up with relevant topics or questions that you might be answering inside the blog post, then all of that can be searched uh, with the actual search feature. That's really so cool. So just to mention, we do not look through the actual post content so there is a lot of keywords within the actual post content so we do not search all the content uh, over here because for that we would need more place when we type in for example page so imagine how many results we would have if we just type in page in in groove in a groove blog so that would be probably a couple hundred pages and that we can we don't want to put in a in a scroll option like this so for that uh for that we thought about that but we decided not to do it uh, yet we might do it in the future so themes customized theme layout and then here show search okay so i went into customize theme layout i turned this on um, I can turn that on to save. So you want to see it now? Yeah, let's see your blog. Let's go <laughs> to your blog and do a search. <laughs> we get to see it live on a on a Groove Academy members live blog. There it is. Search for posts. Um, let's see. Oh, nice testimony. Perfect. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then it stays. The search stays up there. So how does it search for image? Is it because of the tag that we put inside of the image? It doesn't search for images. 
Oh, no, okay. it doesn't search for images, but but it would show on on the search. What image show does it show, David? The image. So under show post image, what does that mean? Um, yeah. So if you type in something to the search there, um, just anything, type in anything. Just type it, just like, yeah, yeah right there. there. See go. the images on the left. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, turn... so, oh, I see what you're saying. So you see the image on the left, not just the on title. On the search. As yeah. a search result, you see the image. You can gotcha. turn it off so you only see the title in the full length of the search bar. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, so <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching and joining us here at Groove Tutorials. Make sure you don't miss the next free workshop. Every third Thursday, you can join a workshop where we walk through everything you need to know to build a lead generation funnel with Groove. Also, if you want to fast track your learning for Groove, make sure you check out Groove for Growth Academy. Everything that I've just mentioned is listed in the links in the description, and we would love to see you in the free workshop or to have you join us in the Groove for Growth Academy. Here's to your best Groove ever.